vlogs, I'll be hoping staying safe, staying well, all that jazz. And today I'm going to be creating um, classic horror movie tropes in The Sims 4 and I will kind of just be creating The Sims and discussing their role in um, classical horror movies. Um, I know these roles are kind of basic so the roles I'm going to do is like um, jock, cheerleader slash bad girl slash whatever you want to call her, um, nerd and the final girl. So those are the tropes we're going to be discussing and basically three out of four of these tropes um the the fourth which is the final girl can be kind of used in other settings such as just a basic um high school or college setting or the final girl can't be used in a high school or college setting but the the first three can but i'm kind of discussing them like um how they interact with the movie scenario and settings and like um basically how these tropes work in horror films I'm, i mean i'm not gonna really be explaining it but i'm kind of just gonna be like discussing it and maybe you guys can add any thoughts in the comments about these certain tropes because they are quite classic tropes and they have been kind of the um tropes used for a lot of horror movies but i just found it really interesting just like how they worked because they all have a similar format but they usually like get switched up a bit because you know can't be the same every time but enough about that intro i'm gonna go ahead to the jock and as you guys probably know from this trope you know this trope is like this guy who's a jerk or a douche or whatever you want to call him and he's basically he basically kind of ruins the the plot like from whatever time he's speaking or is in basically and um but i also find this trope quite interesting because he kind of serves as a i guess irredeem irredeemable character like a character that you are not meant to feel sympathy for and that the audience kind of want to see him get killed most of the time and i don't think i've seen a lot of jocks in horror movies or movies in general get redemption arcs and if they do they're still kind of reminded of their past actions of and how rude they are they were to everyone so i just find the jock quite interesting because um relating it to horror films the jock is kind of like a um you know the the aggressive one the one who kind of it's like oh you know let's say there's a the monster's a ghost or i don't know a killer or whatever you're like oh it's fine you know maybe um maybe maybe he'll be the one to suggest that everyone splits up and then that's where everything goes wrong like usually he's the one who kind of just like makes everything go bad and kind of uh i don't know makes things worse most of the time but then he's also like the character that like i said before like the, the character you want to see die and then when he dies you're like ah finally he's gone and it kind of like <laughs> i don't know the way i've known talking about it, it kind of seems quite cruel but character wise i think we can all agree that this type of character is very annoying and um i guess the directors did a good job because most of the jocks uh um i see in horror movies are so annoying and i literally just want to punch them in the face so i guess i guess that's that that's good for the for the directors because it's working so <laughs> the dog is also interesting in the sense that he'll usually be the one to die first um because of how um stupid his actions are he'll probably maybe even chase after the killer or like I said before, ask everyone to split up and then he dies and then everyone finds his body and they're like, ah, oh, you know. And then, <laughs> and then um, just all of that stuff. Or he could be the um, like the one who is like left with the final girl then gets killed before. Like the, the very rare case that the jock does have a redemption arc is when he will get killed like right after because the movie directors love to do this thing where they will give people a redemption arc and then just like kill them in the next five minutes i don't know maybe it's for a certain effect but i don't know i kind of it, it depends on how the character was honestly um but yeah that's kind of just my discussion about the jock i don't really add that much but it's 
just kind of like my overall opinions on like how they are in horror films um the next trope is the chilly the old bad girl and basically she's usually dating the jocks so they kind of have a um you know a whole thing going on and then she's usually the one who also makes extremely bad decisions and she's also the one as you know both of them are also the ones to do that thing on horror movies where they do certain activities if you know what i'm saying and then the killer finds them and they die like i i don't know why people i don't know why you would do that in a horror movie first of all especially if a killer's chasing you why on earth would you even think about that i'm sorry i don't know <laughs> but yeah usually um like her and the jock would do that and then one of them dies it's usually the guy who dies and then the girls like, and then the girl like gets up and like ah and it's like a killer's literally chasing you and I, I don't know what you guys expected i don't know if one of you was definitely gonna die <laughs> But um, in horror movies, the chili is just kind of like a mean girl who kind of pushes the final girl and the nerd around and kind of, it's just really mean for no reason. Um, the chili is usually blonde and like, kind of just like has that dumb blonde trope, but I don't really, I didn't really want to go for that. Um, I don't know. I, I like the sim I made. She's like, she she gives you like very um like a y2k vibes i love the fashion um and i don't know I, I just i just wanted to have an excuse to dress a sim in early 2000s fashion so you can't blame me i i love that style but anyway that's kind of off topic um yeah i, I didn't do a dumb bl- a dumb blonde for um the mean girl bad girl chili or whatever you want to call her um but yeah i i did give her kind of stereotypical i guess mean girl name i gave her ronica i mean ronica is a really nice name i don't know i just gives you like mean girl vibes because i don't know whether it's um there's a show where i can't just call ronica i think it's um riverdale yeah i think it's riverdale um that girl's called ronica i i don't know i haven't watched that show in years so (laughs) so yeah i just kind of took that from um i just thought of that when i thought of like mean girls but sorry if your name's ronica it's a very nice name just like it just has like a a mean girl vibe but not that you're mean if that makes sense (laughs) it's kind of like you know like regina betty you know all, all those names like it gives certain vibes that you can use for like mean girls like basic mean girl names if that makes sense i'm not really helping my case here but um yeah so that's basically it for the chili that you know in in short just kind of as impulsive as the jock usually dies after the jock um and she usually turns into like um a very hysterical character because usually once her once the her boyfriend gets killed usually the jock she'll be like all crazy and stuff and like after that until she dies as well so i don't know quite an interesting character as well because they're obviously meant to be seen as kind of mini villains within the little group in the um horror movie but um they i don't know they, they have a chance for a redemption arc sometimes but most of the time they don't and they just they just die and nobody really cares because they were mean and that's fair to be honest i i probably wouldn't as well i'm not gonna lie um okay next trope is the nerd or the scholar or the academic or you know all those terms basically a character who um will be kind of a bit shy a little bit more reserved and possibly bullied um by probably the cheerleader or the jock yeah probably one of the one of them or even both and um they will usually just be kind of not much is going for them but they are really sweet character um the semi created i find her so cute like i don't know she seems like the type of character who would like um kind of be remaining with the final girl but then dies like really tragically somehow i don't know maybe the killer gets to her or she sac- or she sacrifices herself or something like that but um she seems like a character who kind of 
um what's the word uh a character who deserved better basically and that i don't know i kind of wanted to exemplify that like she has like a really cozy kind of i guess kind of nerdy outfit i don't i don't know i don't think her outfit's really nerdy or geekish but it's like very i don't know i have like that the, the top reminded me of like a stereotypical nerd look and i did i did want to do the skirt but i kind of did the skirt like a long denim skirt it really suited her so um i was kind of going for that particular look and um yeah basically there's not much to say about this character but usually she's a like or usually they're a very good character and um they're just very kind-hearted and they really don't deserve anything that like happens to them in the movies but unfortunately they usually in in these um in the earlier horror movies usually especially the final girl there they usually want the final girl to you know be standing to confront the killer um but sometimes sometimes some characters do survive actually but um for this um ks i'm kind of focusing on like the final girl standing alone um which leads me on to the final girl so um i think most people know what this trope is now it kind of emerged in the 70s um um as a kind of um like way of female empowerment but it kind of isn't at the same time because of the connotations of like how she survived because the final girl is usually like a brunette usually um doesn't engage in certain activities that her other peers are engaging in so the final girl kind of sends a weird message is like is it empowerment or is it i don't know is it propaganda i don't <laughs> i don't know at this point but um I do like the character in like the aspect of like the um, what's it called the, the development of the character the character development basically because usually at the beginning of the film the final girl is kind of similar to the nerd but except that she's not really a nerd like doesn't really engage in like n- typical nerd hobbies or gaming or whatever or comics usually she's just a very like um maybe tomboyish um bit outspoken sometimes a bit like uh you know that that type of vibe bit like calm and cool vibe who kind of has a clear head while everyone's just like like all over the place and because of that she's usually able to um you know out outstage the killer is that is that um i think it's like outstage or outwit or something the killer and then she's able to maybe kill the killer or confront the killer but sometimes even final girls don't survive like um in some movies um my my head is kind of blank right now so i can't really name movies but there there are definitely movies where the final girl dies as well and it's just kind of tragic but usually um um the final girl does win and then she's kind of just left to be traumatized i guess (laughs) because if everyone's dying around you i i don't know why you wouldn't be traumatized but um you know i don't know uh most horror movies don't really have the sequel to uh show us how they're coping usually the sequel just the event happening all over again um so i don't know but maybe i'm wrong because um i do like horror films i don't really watch them as much but um if i'm wrong on anything please correct me but i'm kind of using this off some of the knowledge that i know and some of them that i did search up a little bit just to remind myself or to learn something new etc quoting this from wikipedia um wikipedia states that the final girl also usually has a unisex name which i made sure to also include um my sims fi- my sims name is robin and that is a unisex name I, I don't know what like the connotations of that means maybe it shows that like she has both qualities of like um femininity and masculinity or something i don't know um but yeah continuing on the wiki also states that the final girl will have a shared history of the killer 
and is the investigating consciousness of the film, moving the narrative forward and she exib- and because of that, she exhibits intelligence, curiosity and vigilance. So basically what I said before and um so yeah, that's basically my commentary and discussion on the tropes. Um I don't know, I just kinda wanna talk about how these tropes kind of um, present themselves in horror films especially because they're quite common tropes in high school or college or uni settings so I wanted to just discuss them of how like how they contribute to the horror genre especially in like early like 70s to early 2000s movies where were where these tropes were more prominent but nowadays these tropes have been like subverted such as like Buffy and all of that stuff where she is blonde and she she's feminine but she still is able to like slay I guess <laughs> slay slay vampires so I don't know find that cool as well but yeah um I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night or whatever whatever wherever you are and um i think i'll upload this on halloween so if you're watching this on halloween happy halloween and i hope you have a wonderful day um on halloween because i'm recording this not on halloween (laughs) please also check out the description below for links petitions and cards and to help various communities i'd really appreciate if you did do that and on that note i'm gonna end this video um oh wait before i go i did do a render for this um this ks and i was gonna record the process but i i don't know i (laughs) i got really scared because it took me hours just to figure out how i was gonna do it but essentially it's just like um it's like a little um mini movie concept if all these characters were in like a machinima or something together but um I don't have the patience to make a machinima and also my laptop is like 12 years old so <laughs> it's not gonna work <laughs> but I maybe one day maybe I will make these characters in the, into a sims machinima because I really do love their personalities and it would work really well in like a mini slasher horror film so that's like a quick note I wanted to add but um, I will show you pictures of the render I did I really like it I like the lights and the flashing things and just everything about it it's really cool and um i want to do more renders maybe another day i'll I'll actually record it but i was quite shy to record it this time because i didn't know what i was doing while i was doing it so so that's my mini note finished and i will see you guys next video um goodbye